Hello everyone and welcome back to Frontend Pathsala. In this tutorial, we will learn how to make HTTP GET request in Angular using HTTP client service. For this tutorial, we will consume online fake REST API. So without delaying, let's get started. I have created a folder over here. Let me just copy this path. Now open your command prompt, type cd and paste the path over here. Next, let's create a new application using ng-new command. So ng-new http-service-angular. Type yes. Select CSS. Once the application is created, go to Visual Studio Code and open the folder where we have created our application. Go to New Terminal and type ng-serve. Let's check in the browser. So our application is running fine. Next, go to app.module.ts file and add HTTP client module in it. So import HTTP client module from angular common slash HTTP. And add this HTTP client module inside imports array. In the next step, we will create a new service which will handle all HTTP client communication operations. So, for that, we will give the command ng generate service will keep inside the services folder. So, services slash user. Now go to user.service.ts file and inject HTTP client in it. So first import HTTP client from angular slash common slash HTTP. Then inject the HTTP client inside the constructor using dependency injection. Private HTTP. Then HTTP client. This HTTP will serve as a variable. Go to browser and type JSON placeholder. We'll take this users and use this as our endpoint URL. Before that, as HTTP client service uses observables for HTTP request, so let's import observable from RxJx. Next, let's create a method get users which will request the data from HTTP endpoint URL. Let me just copy this URL and paste it over here. Return this dot HTTP 
dot so this example is get request so i'll choose get Next, let's go to app dot component dot ts file and import our HTTP service that is user service in it. Next, we need to inject reference of our service through dependency injection. We will create a constructor and in the constructor we will do dependency injection. Create a variable and that variable will be of type user service. Now we need to implement one interface that is on init. This is the predefined interface defined in Angular code. We need to import this one. Create a method ng on in it. Let's create an array variable named as users. Inside the ng on in it method, we'll subscribe to the get users method. data arrow function this dot users is equals to data now in the final step let's go to app dot component dot html file i'll just remove this code and type here h1 tag with the name title just run this application I'll go to ts file and give there a variable page title with text angular http client and I will call that in my html file using interpolation. Now let's quickly create a table. We will display the users list with the help of ng4 and using the variable users. User that id. user dot name user dot email and for address we'll give user dot address dot city
and last user the phone we can see that the data is getting displayed from the api uh, let's just change the look and feel of the table a little bit so for that we'll go to the css file and add some css So guys with this we have completed this tutorial please let me know your feedback in the comment section below and please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel see you in the next video bye